Hi and welcome. My name is Stuart Monroe. I'm a Semantic Authorized Consultant for Semantic DLP. We are a National Platinum Partner with Master Specializations and we're also the 2011 Semantic Partner of the Year. What I'm here really to talk to you about is what's called Semantic DLP, Data Loss Prevention. 11.5 is the latest generation or release of Semantic DLP. There are five components involved in Semantic DLP. We have our N4 server, a database server, network prevent for web and email, an endpoint server, and a discover server. The N4 server is your central management portal. This is critical as it allows you to log into one place to create remediation policies, response policies or po uh, policies altogether on how and what your data is. Your data could be anything from credit card information to p other forms of PII, personal health information, um, source code for some of your projects or um, critical business drawings or CAD drawings for, for one of your products. The database server is exactly what it says. All your information that you need to do exists within that database server. Um, it can either run on box, uh, meaning that it sits on the same box as the N4 server, which is called a two-tier installation, or completely off box if you have a larger um, Oracle cluster, Oracle farm, which is called a three-tier installation. Network Discover. Um, it is what it is. It says what it says. Um, it looks basically looks through your network, looks at your file servers, your NASs, your hard drives, and goes, what policies do I need to look for as I'm crawling through this data? To the point of, if it finds it, you can further create rules to say, oh, let's quarantine it, copy and move it, and leave a little placeholder that says, um, CAD drawing of XYZ, when they click on it, you get a little placard that says, Oh, this is critical business data. Please see IT security for access to here. Why is this important? As it's going to help drive um, business processes and secure your data. You're going to find out who has access to your data, what time of the day is it happening, and who and why are they accessing it. Is um, the engineering firm um, your engineers accessing the appropriate data is the appropriate team accessing the data they're supposed to be. That's going to help you define that. Network prevent for web, network prevent for email are exactly as they say. They look at your TCP IP traffic going in and out of your um, endpoints. The endpoint I'm calling is your router, your firewalls, where your data leaves your network. Is it going to say, do I have a rule that applies, and either do I block or allow? You can say, yep, allow, but it's a trusted business partner, so allow it, but please encrypt it, or no, it's completely blocked, in which it will create a policy violation. The policy violation will then be sent to the Enforce server, and whatever response rules that you have created, a response will be sent off to HR, legal, department manager, or anybody else that you need to say, yep, they need to be involved. The endpoint server um, is exactly what it is. It looks at your endpoints. It looks at your laptops, looks at your desktops. It says, Do, does the user have permission to copy this data to a USB device? Can they burn it to a DVD or CV, uh, CD? Are they allowed to print it, fax it? Um, it all comes down to what you want them, allow them to do with that critical data. Um, and that's where it also incorporates into, as I stated earlier, the network prevent for web, network prevent for email, that it's going to block it. As you can see, just in a quick couple minute overview, that Semantic DLP um, is a very robust and mature product that allows you to drive business processes to secure your data by knowing who accesses it, where your data sits, and what are they doing with it? I thank you for your time and you have a good day.